Greetings, this is Nikichi Taifa. I'm the author of The Adventures of Kojo and Alma. And I'm gonna share with you two stories from this book today. Sheba the cat. Kojo and Alma have a cat. Her name is Sheba the cat. Sheba brings good luck. She helps Kojo and Alma when they need help. Sheba the cat is a good pet. One day, Alma fell in a hole and hurt her leg. Ouch, I'm hurt, Alma cried. Kojo, please come and help me. Please come fast. Kojo was at home. He did not hear Alma. Kojo did not know his sister was hurt. Sheba the cat heard Alma cry for help. She ran to help Alma. Sheba the cat, I'm so glad you came, said Alma. I need help. I will tie a note to your tail. Go home and get Kojo. The note would tell him I am hurt. Sheba the cat ran and ran. She had a job to do. She had to take the note to Kojo. Meow, meow. I smell a mouse, said Sheba the cat. I will not stop to catch it. Alma is hurt. I see a coil of rope, she said. I will not stop to play with that. Amma needs help. I have a job to do. Sheba ran and ran. She stopped when she saw Jack the cat. Meow, meow, said Jack the cat. I found some fish. Stay and eat it with me, Sheba. No, Jack, said Sheba the cat. I have a job to do. Amma needs help. I have a note for Kojo. The note would tell him she is hurt. I must go now. Sheba the cat saw a man with a scar on his arm. The man said, scat, you bad cat. Sheba ran and ran. She ran to find Kojo. Sheba the cat saw a man with a red, black, and green cap. The man smiled at Sheba. Sheba ran and ran. She had to get Kojo. She purred. Meow, meow. I must not let Alma down, she said. She is a good girl. Sheba the cat ran home. She ran up to Kojo and rubbed his leg. Meow, meow, said Sheba the cat. I see a note on your tail, said Kojo. What is it? Kojo read the note. The note said, Dear Kojo, please help me. I fell in the big hole and hurt my leg. Come and help me. Please come fast. Your sister, Amma. Kojo gave Sheba the cat a pat on her back and a rub on her fur. You're a good cat, he said. Purr, purr, said Sheba the cat. Kojo ran to help Amma. Sheba the cat ran with Kojo. They ran past the man with the red, black, and green cap. He smiled at them. They ran past the man with a scar on his arm. He frowned at them. They ran past Jack the cat as he ate his fish. Jack the cat purred at them. They ran past the mouse. The mouse ran away fast. They ran past the coil of rope. Sheba the cat stopped by the coil of rope. Don't stop now, said Kojo. Amma needs our help. Sheba the cat did not budge. She sat down by the rope. Oh, yes, said Kojo. Sheba, you're a smart cat. The rope can help Amma. Kojo ran with the rope to the big hole. He tied the rope to a tree and put part of the rope down the hole. Pull the rope on your waist, Kojo said to Amma, and I will pull you out of the hole. Kojo, I am so glad you came, said Amma. Kojo held the rope firm. The rope helped Kojo pull Amma out of the hole. Kojo, thank you, said Amma. I'm safe now. Don't thank me, said Kojo. Thank Sheba the cat. She's a smart pet. Sheba the cat brings us good luck. And the last story I'm going to read for the Watoto is called Fun in the Sun. Fun in the sun. Amma and I are going on a trip, Kojo said to Brother Shaka with a smile. We're going with Mama and Daddy on a big plane 
to Jamaica. It will be a long ride. That's great, Brother Shaka said. Jamaica is a place where there is lots of sunshine. You will have fun there. Will you feed Sheba the cat while we're gone, asked Alma? Yes, I will, said Brother Shaka. Sheba the cat is a good pet. I'll take care of her. The big plane took the family to Jamaica. It was a long ride. Koja and Alma looked out their hotel window the next day. Look at the sun, said Alma. See it coming up in the east? Look at the trees, said Kojo. The leaves are very big in Jamaica. Daddy, daddy, can we go to the beach? The children asked. That sounds like fun, said daddy. Mama and I will sit on the sand and watch you play. The family went down to the beach. Look, said Kojo, I see a boy. Let's go meet him. Hi, I'm Kojo, he said to the boy, and this is my sister, Alma. Hey, Mon, the boy said with a smile. My name is Rafiki. Where do you live, asked Kojo. I live up in the hills with my dad, Rafiki said. My dad makes drums and masks. He strings beads and shells. People like what he makes. What can we do to have fun, asked Kojo. We can ride in my little boat, said Rafiki. The ride will be lots of fun. Mama, Mama, can we go, asked Alma. Yes, as long as Daddy and I can still see you, Mama said. The three children got in the boat. Look at the bottom of the boat, Rafiki said. It's made of glass. Hey, I can see all kinds of fish, said Alma. See the shells, asked Rafiki. Look, look, I see a shark, said Kojo. I don't see a shark, said Alma. I just see seaweed. Ha, 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 ha. I was just joking, said Kojo. There is no shark. Don't joke like that, said Rafiki. Sharks can hurt us. That was not funny. Where are we going, Alma asked the new friend. We're going to the big cave right over there. We can play there. The glass bottom boat floated near the big cave. The children got out. Alma waved at Mama and Daddy. Hey, let's play hide and seek, Rafiki said. Alma can be it. Count to 10, said Kojo. Close your eyes. Don't peek. Alma began to count. And Watoto, please count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come, she shouted. Ama looked for Kojo. She did not see him. Ama looked for Rafiki. She did not see him. Kojo, Rafiki, where are you? Ama laughed. I can't find you. Alma, we're over here by the big rock, Kojo yelled. Come fast. Look, Alma, look, said Kojo. Come look and see what we found in the cave. It looks like a map, said Rafiki. Maybe it will lead us to treasure. I can't read a map, said Alma. It's not hard, said Rafiki. The map can help us find the way to the treasure. Let's see what it says. First, the map says to run to the big rock, Rafiki said. Children, run around the table right now, run. Where's the big rock? Asked Ama. There it is, pointed Kojo. Ama, Kojo, and Rafiki ran to the big rock. What does the map tell us to do next, Ama asked. It tells us to hop on one leg by the side of the tree. Come on, children, hop on one leg, hop, hop, hop. Ama, Kojo, and Rafiki hopped on one leg. This is fun, said Ama. They hop by the side of the cave. Next, the map says to crawl on the sand to the palm tree. Get on the floor, children, and crawl, crawl, crawl. Then it says we are to walk five feet from the east side of the tree and to dig in the sand. Kojo and Ama crawl to the tree. Kojo walked five feet from one side of the tree. Ama walked five feet from the other side of the tree. Kojo, you are not on the east side of the tree, said Alma. The map said to go five feet and dig on the east side. There is no mark by the tree to tell which side the east side is, Kojo said. I'm going to dig where I am. Kojo and Alma began to dig. Rafiki sat down in the shade of the tree and smiled. Look, look, said Alma. Look what I dug up. I dug up a drum. I dug up a doll. And I 
dug up a mask. I found the treasure, she shouted with joy. Kojo frowned. I dug up a crab leg and a bug. I didn't find any treasure. This must not be the east side of the tree. I didn't know how to find the east. Did you know the treasure was in the sand? Ama asked their new friend. Fafiki winked and smiled <laughs> at Kodra and Ama. They are gifts for both of you, he said. I made the map. That's what I do to have fun. You made a joke, said Ama, but it was a good joke. That was a fun game, said Kojo. But Ama, how did you know which side of the tree to dig on? Ama smiled. I saw the sun when it came up, she said. The sun always rises in the east. I just dug on the same side the sun came up on. That was so smart, said Kojo. I don't know the east side next time. I don't want to miss out on any more treasure. I will share my gifts with you, said Ama. Thank you, said Kojo. You are a great sister. Let's float back down the beach, Rafiki said. Your mother and father are waiting for us to come back. That was Fun in the Sun. From the book, The Adventures of Kojo and Ama by Nikichi Taifa. Thank you.